Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. This is going to be another one of those untold truth and detailing uh, mini series videos uh, that you guys love so much. I have had a lot of requests to do more of these. Uh, seems like you guys actually like them. Who knew? Anyway, when I put this thing together, um, before, when I started the new channel, I decided that I wanted to do a, a mini series within the YouTube channel like this because I'm sick to death of all of the BS on the market and all of the bandwagon bullshit that's out there and you know all these other companies are just trying you to, they, they just want you to buy, 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 buy. And don't get me wrong, I'm in business to make money. I want you to purchase my products. There's no question about that, just so that we're clear. Um, but at the same time, I am and have been in your position as a person who wants to turn my passion for this detailing thing into a profit. And I've been very fortunate in, you know, right place, right time, uh, hard work, dedication, drive, uh, and that kind of thing to be a part of something bigger than just me detailing cars and um, you know I I'm very fortunate but at the same time I did this you know I worked really hard to get where I'm at I produce good quality good solid quality results for my customers and you know I'm all about providing the customer whether it's a service customer of mine or a product customer of mine with what they need based on their expectation, their budget, and reality. And like I said, I sell my services customers the job based on those three things, but I also sell my, client, my uh, product customers product based on those three things. Um, now obviously if a person just places a random uh, purchase on the website, they already know what they need. Uh, however, if they approach me and ask me questions, I don't try to oversell them. Uh, I want them to get the products that they're going to uh, be able to learn how to use and get acquainted with and figure out for the application that they're calling about, then they can move into other products. You don't have to buy it all initially. Um, they all work together. I'm going to shoot a video soon about... Um, how the different products, because my line has expanded a little bit this year, and I want to show you guys firsthand what the differences between some of the products are, because uh, I've got several uh, protection-oriented products now, uh, and they all have their place, but I want to show you where that place is so that you don't have to wonder or guess or whatever. So this video is going to be about packages and how you and we're, we're coming into spring now we're in february um you know the weather is going to start getting nice in a couple of months you guys are going to be out there trying to make some money and so every year in business uh it's a good idea to assess your situation look at your numbers your books and that kind of thing from the year before and figure out where you want to be so basically you're redoing your business plan on a yearly basis for me I set goals uh, quarterly. So that's four different business plans uh, within one year, essentially. Uh, overall, the plan should be the same. The structure can change based on um, you know the money you make, uh, the effort that you put in, uh, the different places that you want to offer your services, uh, and, and lots of different variables. But my point to you right now specifically is building your packages based on what the customer is going to see. And when I say that, it's completely different for a customer to go to a website and see a, a list of packages versus you standing in front of the customer and giving them options based on what you see on their vehicle. So the consultation that you have per your visual inspection and what you quote them could be completely different than the package that, packages that they see on a piece of paper or they see on the internet. So I'm gonna try to help you understand how you should build your packages um, and 
how what you list is directly related to and unrelated to at the same time to your initial consultation with the customer, which ultimately is what is going to matter. Um, I just want to say that when you build your packages, there's a few things that you need to keep in mind. And I'm going to show you, I've already put my packages together for 2017. Uh, as you guys know, I actively use my products uh, to make money detailing. I am the guy that uses this stuff. I'm not a random person, I'm not a big company with tons of money um, producing products that has never been out in the real world. I am the guy that uses this stuff that I try to sell to you. And if I can use it to make money and get great results with it, there's no reason that you can't. So my point specifically is when I built my packages, they were based on my products. Now, if you're not using my products, I obviously think that you should. Uh, but if you're not, I'm sure that this is gonna help you anyway because you'll be able to dissect what's going on and add, subtract, multiply, and divide, simple math, uh, to uh, the packages and add your own product in there if you want to. Um, so again, my, my packages are based on my products. So uh, when it comes to packages, you want to have as few packages as possible. Now. When a customer sees something and they get confused, they get intimidated, especially when you're in front of them, you're rattling off all this different stuff that they don't, they don't understand. Um, you, sometimes people have, no, all the time on the internet, people are, they have a, a huge issue with getting far too technical. And the technicalities work on paper but in the real world have nothing to do with anything that you're going to do. So that's something to keep in mind is, you know, the technical data is in a controlled environment and in real life, the environment is not controlled and you guys know that. So give them as few packages as possible that outline the majority of your services. Uh, you don't want to confuse the customer because the customer, when they get confused, they get intimidated and they back off. They say no to everything. That's sales 101 really. Uh, I'll do another sales specific video, but when it comes to building your packages, you want as few few packages as possible. And I'm going to, I'm going to post this for you guys. I'll post it in uh, Gary Dean's detail juice nation. It's a, it's my group on Facebook where we talk about my products processes uh, and what I've got going on. Uh, if you want to be a part of that, send us a request. We'll get you in there. Um, uh, read the pin post. It's all the rules as we're in a drama free community uh, and drama will not be tolerated or you'll be removed from the group period without question, no passing go and collecting $200, you are gone if you don't follow the rules. That's it. Um, I want a good quality environment where people can learn from my experiences and really benefit from being there. Uh, I don't want any drama. So uh, I'll post my packages in the group. Uh, feel free to use them. I don't care if you copy and paste every word. It doesn't matter to me. I want you guys to get the most out of my experiences so that you can better serve your customers and make more money. The trade here is, if you wouldn't mind picking up some of my products, that would be awesome for everybody. Um, if not, I get it, it's fine. You have different opinions than me. Uh, but as far as the packages go, Use the stuff. I don't care. I put it on the internet for a reason. It's just like my cell phone number, 813-846-4406. If you don't use it, you don't know if I can help you. And that's the bottom line. Um, use these packages if you want. Uh, again, I'm sorry, I, I go off on random tangents. As few packages as possible that, that outline specifically what you'll do but, and you'll see, I put a, a nice solid quality disclaimer on the bottom of all my packages. Now packages should be used as an outline. They should not be used as the end all be all set in stone price structure for what you do. Um, when the packages are listed on either a piece of paper, which you can see that I've typed it all out for you, um, or seen on the internet, they're supposed to give 
the customer a general idea of not only the cost and what is included with the cost, um, you could also put in how many hours it should take you to do this. Um, I'm going, I have to make some edits to this. It's not completely, utterly finalized. Uh, by the time I post it in the group uh, later today, it will be finalized. I still got to put the times in there. And again, when you put your pricing in there, you want to put a variance. You don't want to put a set number because there's, uh, you know, not every vehicle is in average condition. And we'll get to that in a minute. But when it comes to the variance, it's for uh, different size of vehicles. A Mazda Miata should cost less for you to do uh, than a uh, Chevy Suburb Suburban should. Uh, two different monsters. There's far more real estate to deal with uh, with a Chevy Suburb Suburban than there is with a Miata. So your lower price uh, on your pricing structure should be for the Miata. Uh, the highest end should be for the Suburban. Now that goes, that same variance could be if that Mazda Miata is super trashed, you could add in the other side, the higher side could be that price because it's really bad. So your variance does two things. It's for uh, the size of the vehicle and it's for uh, the amount of effort that you have to, to put in to do it. And so by giving a variance, the customer knows uh, in their mind, they're seeing um, best case scenario, worst case scenario. Ultimately, your initial in-person inspection is what matters for pricing. And I have notated the pricing for that. I have put in that disclaimer where there's no price that's finalized over the phone, over the internet, or anything. These packages give you a general idea of what you should expect to pay for X amount of work done in X amount of time. That's it. It's it, in some cases, if it's really bad, it could go beyond the high end variant. Um, it is up to you to make that determination when you see the vehicle. I get asked all the time, well, people see my prices and you know, I get there and it's all kinds of bad and well, that's your fault. You didn't make that note on your pricing that the variance is there for a reason or maybe you didn't put a variance there or I just want you to, to make sure that you CYA cover your ass uh, when you're putting your packages together. Packages are a general estimate to give you an idea before you ever have to make a phone call. Um, if you don't like it, you don't, they, you know, as the customer, if they don't like your, pa your package pricing, they don't like your pricing in general, they don't like what they get for X amount of dollars, they don't call. You don't want those calls anyway. Those are the customers that are going to see it and say, oh, that's what it costs? So who wants a tire kicker? Not me, but I can tell you what, I've made some real good money on tire kickers because I know how to talk to these people and make them understand what I'm doing. It's the biggest problem with most of you people. You're all about like quality service. You can be that craftsman, but you're not a business person. You're not a sales guy. And that's what matters. So that's what my passion to profit detail business training seminar is about. I'm doing one of those on March 4th. Uh, you know, in years to come, you'll be watching this video and this will most likely be irrelevant because I'll have more things going on uh, at that time. But today is February 5th, 2017. And on March 4th, it is a Saturday. 2017, I am doing a demo day for the new products I'm going to launch. Uh, I'm also doing um, a passion to profit detailed business training seminar to try to help you guys with some of that sales stuff. If you want to be a part of that? It's 50 bucks per person. It's going to be about three hours long. It's in the afternoon uh, from two to five on March 4th, March 4th, 2017. Anyway, so package pricing, make it generic but make it thorough make the prices and the time range a variant um put the disclaimer in there and you should be good to go um i have put together a little piece of situation which i will show you now all right so i'm not sure if you can see everything 
But we've got deluxe in and out. Now, I showed some of this stuff to the people in my group uh, last week. Just the basic packages right here. These three here. These are the, the basic packages. I showed that to some of the people in my group and they questioned why I would call it a deluxe in and out and the price is so low. Now, you gotta understand, there are words that are flashier than others that get attention more than others. And you guys know I'm quite the attention whore. That's what I do. And that's just my personality. But when it comes to putting things on paper, like this, someone would say, in and out, oh, that seems pretty basic. But when you add deluxe in there, sounds pretty fancy. So, you know, flag words, flash words, that kind of thing, um, those are important. I wouldn't get too carried away with it. Notice uh, it includes wash, dry, detail spray, I clean the wheels, dress the tires, I'll vacuum the interior, wipe down the interior, uh, wipe the door jams, and wipe the windows. Uh, that is a very thorough, basic job. Um, but it includes basically every surface you need it to include uh, for around 50 bucks. I can get that service done in inside an hour on any vehicle, whether it's a Suburban or a Miata, period. Um, with my products and my processes, I'm very efficient. It works out very well. Uh, and I know that that is a profitable variance regardless of size or, um, you know, the amount that gets done. Again, with that pricing, you're limited to that. That's all that you get for that. Um, and again, I'm the professional. I'm in charge. I don't let customers push me around. So, uh, you know, ultimately... You're working for them, but at the same time, it's your business and your decision whether or not you do it. And once the customer understands that you are leading the sale, which you have to do to be successful, then they generally will go ahead and go with your recommendation because you are the professional. After all, they did call you to do the work without doing it themselves. Again, we go to the next one. So you get the in and out package. Here you go. Um, plus, I'll actually notate that to say the deluxe in and out package. Um, but you get that plus everything else listed. Uh, this is called the above and beyond in and out. So it's above and beyond. It includes this list here, also basic clay bar treatment. And what I mean by that is, uh, it, generally when I'm doing a paint correction or something like that, I'll do a more thorough uh, clay bar treatment. So it includes a basic clay bar treatment. Uh, it That package will include Juice Boost sealant and um, there's an option to upgrade to uh, Vitality Shield polymer coating uh, for an additional $50. It is far better protection. Uh, it would be the middle of the road deal uh, be, uh, with the force field protection system, which we'll get to in a minute, being the uh, ultimate in my line of protection. Um, this package also uh, includes the carpet upholstery damp shampoo. If you don't know what that is, you should look it up on my YouTube channel. Um, uh, thorough window clean. Notice it said wipe windows up here. If you see any smudges, I usually just wipe them off. But when it comes to a thorough window clean, I'll really try to get everything clean. Uh, console deep clean. Uh, with this package, I'll generally wipe the cup, cup holders out unless they're really dirty. Uh, in which case I'll try to sell them this package. Uh, it's all about upsell and that kind of thing, which is why the Vitality Shield is in here. That's why there's an option for a higher priced package. Um, I also added an option to deep clean uh, and condition leather and clean the headliner, making this a more complete uh, interior detail job, adding an additional $50 to the deal. So, suggestive sell, on paper, and this, that, those two things make this package far more complete. As you're going down, this is the ultra deluxe pack package. So we're adding a word from deluxe, which is already fancy. We add an ultra to it. Looks fantastic. 
This gives you all of this. See there? And then I also will correct, polish, and protect with Evo All-in-One. Um, that's a fantastic new all-in-one that I'm about to release. That'll probably be released on April 1st. Um, not with the other products on March 1st. So, uh, this also includes the leather clean and condition and the headliner clean uh, with no additional upgrade cost where it is upgraded here. Uh, this will all include that. Um, so those are my three basic packages. If you'll notice, they cover pretty much everything. This I can do in an hour or less. This one, um, realistically, I can do in two to three hours, uh, depending on how bad it is. Uh, this one here um, varies maybe four to five hours right around there, maybe less, depending on the size of the vehicle. Uh, but that Evo All-in-One is a bad, bad man. It cuts better than Infinite Finish. It finishes equally as well. And it also has the acrylic from the force field protection system, which we're going to talk about right now. Uh, so the force field protection system is a system in it of itself. Uh, I will wash. So this is a whole package here. I charge from 300 to 350 bucks to do the package. Uh, I wash with either Ghost uh, Rinseless Wash or the Perfect Soap. Uh, both of them uh, don't leave any residue behind, uh, which is good because the next step after the clay bar treatment uh, where you're going to use Ghost as the lube is stripper juice. So because these two products don't leave any residual protection or uh, any residue behind, you're not fighting to remove that. Uh, with the stripper juice. So stripper juice is going to remove any and all um, wax, sealant, any protection that's on the surface, any polishing re residues. It also has a priming catalyst built into it where um, you're going to prep for the infinite force field uh, acrylic coating application. Uh, and then the final uh, process to that is to wipe it down with force field boost to make sure that you don't have any high spots. Um, so again, 300 to 350, that's the variance on that. Um, moving down, headlight restoration is a pretty big deal, uh, especially here in Florida. Uh, polish and protect with a uh, vitality shield. I charge 40 bucks for a pair uh, to wet sand them uh, with something like 2000 grit polish and then protect with Vitality Shield. You're looking at $60 for the pair. And then the advanced wet sand, where, which is where I would take them down as low as I could go to really get them uh, defect free and then bring that sandpaper back up to 3000 grit. Then I would use Infinite Cut, then Infinite Finish, and then I'd apply the Infinite Force Field coating. I charge a dollar for the, or a hundred dollars for the pair for that. So just give me an idea of where I'm at. Now again, you can change these prices. You can change the time variance that I'll be adding there. You can change that if you want. Use this to manipulate it, whatever. Add your own products in, whatever you want. You're welcome, that's where I'm at. Um, again, you know, good trade off here would be to buy some of my products, but again, you know, maybe it's not, not for everybody, uh, but that's where we're at. So. If you want to keep it the way it is, it does have my products and stuff listed. All right, so I had a little bit of a technical uh, malfunction. I ran out of space on my card. So we were talking about, and while I was down, switching the uh, memory card out, I actually added in the time variances just for these packages. I don't want to put them here. Well, I put them on the force field protection system uh, just because I'm very familiar with how long that takes. It's a pretty standard deal. Um, and there's not a lot of variances that could change a lot other than size. Um, the process is the same anyway, uh, and the ap application is the same. But as far as headlight restoration, engine bay detail, and paint correction, I don't want to give time limits for that. You can quote them for the paint correction. Um, we'll get that in a minute. Get to that in a minute. But um, when it comes to uh, the engine bay detail, I offer two different options. I don't get a lot of requests for engine bay details. However, 
I do get them, which is why they're even on here. Plus, they take up very little space. I'm going to do another video on flyers and that kind of thing. And I will give you more information on what this is about and how, why it's laid out like it is. Um, but as far as engine bay detail goes, I do a fantastic top side clean and dress, which if you've seen some of the videos on, the, on that, uh, that are on my YouTube channel, you understand how fantastic it makes a engine bay look and how much value is in that service. It just makes the engine bay look fantastic. Uh, and it's a very fast process where you could upsell and really make some good money. So anyway, um, 40 bucks is what I get for that. Uh, the deep clean and dress, which is where I would switch it from infinite purpose cleaner to tiger's blood. Uh, tiger's blood is a better degreaser and so it'll break down oil and tar and that kind of thing a little bit better than IPC. Um, so I'll switch it up to Tiger's Blood. I will do more of a thorough clean on the block and farther down. Now, if you notice actual uh, oil leaks, there's not a whole lot you can do. You can clean them up a bit. Again, it's about the time. So I'm charging an extra $20 to do this, so I'm not spending all day for it. Maximum, I'll spend a solid hour. That is it. So that's where we're at, um, much past uh, an hour on an engine bay detail, the customer's not gonna notice it anyway. Um, and realistically, if they care about it that much, you will spend more than an hour on it, in which case you gotta change the price. Um, which is why this is just an estimate, so that they see what kind of uh, work they can get for X amount of uh, time. Um, that's out of place. So, the next step, I did that several times, crazy. See, I'm editing this as we're, it's not final yet. So anyway, paint correction, I break it down. I have spoken about this before. When it comes to paint correction, I offer um, the all-in-one, the Evo all-in-one, uh, which is the evolution of all-in-ones. It uh, cuts better than Infinite Finish. It polishes at least the same, uh, and it leaves behind the acrylic that's in the uh, force field protection system. I can tell you I'm eight plus months strong on just the protection from Evo All-in-One, so it's a solid quality protective product, uh, not like most on the, on the market uh, where they say wash and wax or just you know uh, cut, polish, seal, all that that don't last very long, this one actually replaces the need to actually put on some protection. So not only is it saving time, it's really giving you good quality protection uh, in one deal. Uh, so anyway, um, I break down my paint corrections per the process that I'm doing, and you'll see that listed here. Uh, so the first step is the one-step swirl mark removal with gloss enhancement and protection. That's Evo all-in-one. So that's $250 to $350. That variance is for the size of the vehicle. Um, the next one is a one-step light swirl mark removal and gloss enhancement with, you'll, you'll get uh, juice boost. I uh, should put an juice boost in there, uh, which would make it look a lot better. So that is the same price. It's basically the same process uh, except for you're adding some juice boost on there, which it works like a detail spray as well, leaving behind protection. So you're really not adding any time into here. So I put the same pricing on there as well. Uh, the next step is a two step, infinite cut and infinite finish and seal with juice boost. So this is a two step process, which I'm going to do one section pass on every section of the car with infinite cut, I'm not really focusing on hardcore defect removal. Uh, and then I'll polish it with infinite finish and then seal it with juice boost. That goes up to 450 to 550. Now, two-step paint correction with deep defect removal focus and juice boost um, is the real paint correction process, uh, if you will. And with that, the price goes from $600 to $700. I also made a note here, $50 discount to any paint correction pa package when you add the force field protection system. 
I'm already going to do the wash clay bar and prep for polishing in this package. In this, that's included. So that $50 is deducted when you pick a paint correction process and add the force field protection system, if that makes sense. All right, so now you've seen all the packages that I put together. Again, this is a basic layout of the list of services that I want the customer to see to get a good idea of what's going on and they can, you know, add, subtract, multiply, and divide, and manipulate however they see fit if they don't see something that they want. But this is a general idea of what's going on. It's short, it's sweet, it's simple, it's fantastic. Um, now, we'll get to the disclaimer at the bottom. Notice it is bold. Uh, I want them to notice it. It is important that they see it. So, I'll go ahead and blow this up a little bit so we can read it together. Disclaimer! All pricing listed above is based on vehicles in average condition. That's important. We reserve the right to determine whether the vehicle is in average condition based upon our visual inspection. The pricing above should be used as a guideline and not as the end-all, be-all, set-in-stone price. The final price will be quoted after our in-person visual inspection of the vehicle and agreed upon before any work is performed. Additional services may be recommended and or are available per your request. If you do not see exactly what you are looking for, I've got to edit that. If you do not see exactly what you are looking for or your budget will allow, we can build you a custom package to better suit your needs. Let's read that one more time. If you do not see exactly what you are looking for or your budget will allow, you, we can build you a custom package to better suit your needs. That makes sense. Payment is due in full when the agreed upon work has been completed. Thank you. We appreciate your business. Now, that situation right there that I just shared with you is the most important thing. I cannot tell you how many people are doing this wrong. That disclaimer covers your ass. It basically says you can look at the packages, but that might not be what we end up going with. And it might not be the price that it has to be to get the work done because I haven't seen your car. Now, lots of people say you shouldn't give quotes over the phone. I think that's bullshit. You should absolutely give them some idea because most people are turned off by not knowing. That's why I don't, I never suggest you charge by the hour. You give them a price variance based upon an hourly rate that you need to get to make it happen. You don't want the customer to wonder what it's going to be. They don't like that. They want to know. So I usually hit them with worst case scenario. Like if I feel like it's going to cost them $450 to get a job done, I'll say, look, it won't be any more than $500. Gives me some buffer room in it. That's, you know, that's crazy talk for a detail, really. Like they usually don't take long enough to have to cost $500. Uh, unless it's a paint correction job or something like that, or they're adding on a lot of different services, or you know they're incredibly picky, in which case you would charge them for that. Um, I'm all about taking any job that you can get where you can work it out where you're profitable. Period. Uh, if it's worth your time, you should do it. And um, you know, tire kickers are one thing, but it's another thing to you know, spend a couple minutes qualifying that tire kicker to see if you can pull any money out of the situation. So anyway, 
Is that the end all be all of packages? No, but it's some good solid quality advice that I have used, uh, I have experience in it, and uh, it has done me well for years, and this is what I'm rolling with. So if you guys have any more questions about this or uh, if I can help you build your packages, I, I don't know why you want to do that when you can just manipulate that if you have to, uh, change the, the numbers a little bit, and you're good to go. But anyway, let me know if you got any questions, 813-846-4406. I'm always here to help you guys with your detailing endeavors. And, uh, you know, I love those who love me. So uh, check out DetailJuice.com. If you never use my products, uh, I am tossing around going with 8-ounce sizes so that the cost of entry is lower for enthusiasts and for people who don't want to take the plunge wholeheartedly with the 16-ounce or the gallon size. So lots of stuff coming. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, have a great day.